Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 10 in college football, and we're talking right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com who's going to cover uh, Auburn, Mississippi right now with us. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. I appreciate it. Hopefully you were able to see it in some of the blogs. We knocked out our, our biggest play in the company's history on Saturday night going under 60 in the Arizona State-Washington game. I wow. uh, was never in doubt. It was 10 nothing at halftime. 65-mile-an-hour uh, wind, tons of rain. There was no way it was touching 60, and it would end up being 34 points. So we're pretty proud about that. Continued success at allplayswin.com. And I feel really, really good about the videos we're doing this week with you guys, Pete. All right, Troy. Well, awesome hit there. That's what a professional handicapper does on top of the breaking news, taking advantage of it. Sometimes you have edges that you see all week on the opening line. Sometimes the edges appear, you know, an hour or two before kickoff. Yeah, no, absolutely, Pete. That's, uh, that's some of the stuff that really – benefits and, and when you're investing in a service is some of that last minute stuff that mm -hmm. comes out and again that's why this is such a small sample size so i really think people need to come take a look at all places sounds great well auburn ole miss ole miss is a two and a half or three point uh, home favorite the total right now is 50 50 and a half or 51 and ole miss of course coming off the tough loss at lsu their first loss of the season how much that take out of them not exactly sure but now they're just a very small favorite uh, against auburn auburn uh, came off of their bye and then struggled a bit against south carolina they were 17 and a half point uh, favorite and that, that line actually got bet up and they, they wound up winning by just seven. So I'm not exactly sure what I think about the spread here. I do think I might be really liking the over 50. Uh, you know, Ole Miss uh, has had a strong defense all year long, but uh, maybe they're getting a little bit wearied now and Auburn is, uh, you know, the kind of uh, offense that should be able to take advantage of that if they can. And Ole Miss's offense has been productive in general this year. So I'm thinking maybe the over 50 might be uh, the best play here. What do you like here, Troy? No, I, I'm going to go with Ole Miss. This is to me okay. a really good Ole Miss football team, Pete. You know, two and a half just seems like a low number at yeah. home right now. They've been playing great football. This is a team that's much, much different at home. We know what they did against Alabama. Look at the way Alabama's playing now. I, you know, it, it was just they looked like a trap last week going into Death Valley against LSU. They say dreams are shattered there. It's <laughs> exactly what happened. I think they're going to come back off a really tough loss. Would be really shocked to see Wallace. And this Ole Miss team lose two, two in a row. I think that number is favorable in Ole Miss's favor. You know, Auburn runs a lot of different gadgets. They love to run the football. Ole Miss is front four is outstanding defensively. I think Ole Miss gets it done and wins at home. All right. Does the uh, the line does seem a little bit suspiciously low, though, right? I mean, does that not uh, – and it's gone down. It's, it's it opened to three, and now it's minus two and a half. Try not to overanalyze the, the line movement, but no, absolutely, right. it is something that you definitely got to put in. I just, I truly believe that this old Miss team is so much different at home. This is a team that was ranked in the top three for a reason. I don't think right. this is a flop of a team. I think they're going to get it done. I think, I think the opportunity here against Auburn is, is one where Auburn's going to have to really look to throw the football. They're going to put a lot of points up. They don't do that very well. They like to stick to that run game. I think Ole Miss gets it done. Troy West expecting a bounce back from Ole Miss minus two and a half. Thanks, Troy. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.